The Belfry of Bruges by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. This poem was published in 1845 and uh, French pronunciations are approximated. In the marketplace of Bruges stands the belfry, old and brown, thrice consumed and thrice rebuilded. Still it watches o'er the town. As the summer morn was breaking, on that lofty tower I stood and the world threw off the darkness like the weeds of widowhood. Thick with towns and hamlets studded, and with streams and vapors gray, like a shield embossed with silver, round and vast the landscape lay. At my feet the city slumbered, from its chimneys here and there wreaths of snow-white smoke ascending, vanished ghost-like into air. Not a sound rose from the city at that early morning hour, but I heard a heart of iron beating in the ancient tower. From their nest beneath the rafters sang the swallows wild and high, and the world beneath me sleeping seemed more distant than the sky. Then most musical and solemn bringing back the olden times with their strange unearthly changes rang the melancholy chimes like the psalms of some old cloister when the nuns sing in the choir and the great bell tolled among them like the chanting of a friar visions of the days departed shadowy phantoms filled my brain they who live in history only seem to walk the earth again all the foresters of Flanders, mighty Baldwin Brawl de Fer, Lydric de Buc, and Cressy, Philip, Guy de Dampierre. I beheld the pageant splendid that adorned those days of old, stately dames, like queens attended, knights who bore the fleece of gold, Lombard and Venetian merchants with deep laden argosies, ministers from twenty nations, more than royal pomp and ease. I beheld proud Maximilian kneeling humbly on the ground. I beheld the gentle Mary hunting with her hawk and hound, and her lighted bridal chamber where the duke slept with the queen, and the armed guard around them with the sword unsheathed between. I beheld the Flemish weavers with Namur and Julier as bold, marching homeward from the bloody battle of the spores of gold. Saw the fight at Minnewater, saw the White Hoods moving west, saw the great Arteveld, victorious, scale the golden dragon's nest. And again the whiskered Spaniard all the land with terror smote, and again the wild alarum sounded from the toxin's throat till the bell of Ghent responded o'er lagoon and dyke of sand. I am Roland, I am Roland, there is victory in the land. Then the sound of drums aroused me. The awakened city's roar chased the phantoms I had summoned back into the graves once more. Hours had passed like minutes, and before I was aware, lo, the shadow of the belfry crossed the sun illumined square.